Welcome back to Huchos. It's a beautiful sunny morning here in Queensland, Australia, and the Australian government has just released its emergency response plan to the impending coronavirus epidemic. Pandemic. It's even worse. So, what are we going to do about it? For starters, let's take this thing off grid. All right. So, I'll run you through some of the things you'll need to get this thing running off grid. So if you haven't checked it out already, this is my video on how to make this system before you take it off grid. Now I know it might seem obvious, but the first thing you'll need to take your hydroponic system off the grid, a water source and enough water to run your hydroponic system as well as keep you alive because you don't want to sacrifice your water for the plant's water. So get yourself a water source. So as well as your water source, you'll need a 12 volt deep cycle battery, a 12 volt pump that has a head greater than your system height, some screwdrivers, wire strippers, pliers, a solar charge controller, this is just a cheap Chinese one, but it will do for our purposes here today. A multimeter, an extension cable to run to your solar panels, and of course, you'll need your solar panels. I'll also be using some connectors and some wire crimpers, as well as some automotive wire to connect all of the components together. In addition to all this stuff, if you really want to take it truly off the grid, you'll need stockpiles of hydroponic nutrient, as well as stockpiles of seeds. To start with, I'm going to connect the battery to the solar charge controller, and then we can connect up the solar panel to the solar charge controller, as well as the load, which is the pumps. Now, I'm going to be using two 12 volt pumps to run this system. One fills the grow bed, and the other runs the NFT system. With the wire you use, make sure it's the correct gauge wire to handle the load from the pump. Now that we've got our solar charge controller wired up so that it can plug into the pump through the load socket, plug into the solar panels through the solar panel socket and be attached to the battery through the battery socket, we can set it up next to the hydroponic system. Now we can connect up the solar charge controller to the battery. So this means we've got 12.4 volts coming out of the battery, which is good. Now we can connect up the solar panels so that the battery gets charged. As you can see here, there's nothing going into the battery at the moment, but as we connect up the solar panel, now the solar is charging the battery. Now we can connect up our pump adapter to the wiring that's coming off the load section. Make sure to disconnect this before working on it. Also, it's best to put in a fuse for the amount of amperage that the pump draws. Now we can disconnect it from mains power. There you go. A completely solar powered NFT system. So here you can see the solar is filling the battery, which is also powering the load. And we've got a really decent amount of solar coming in. And there you have it a completely off-grid hydroponic system that can supply you with food through even the longest pandemic. Now, obviously a system like this relies on the sun. So in situations where the sun is blocked for extended periods of time, this system won't work. But 
the same can be said for growing plants in general. So realistically, if you've got sun and you've got water, you've got plants. I'm running a 90 amp hour battery here with what was sold to me as a 300 watt solar panel, which I know is pretty much only a 200 watt max solar panel. And the pumps that I'm running are 12 volts and 13 watts, which roughly equals one amp per pump. So if I have two pumps running on a 90 amp battery, I can reasonably expect 45 hours of runtime. But adding the solar and you pretty much extend that indefinitely as long as you don't have an extended period without sun. Now, I can't answer what your solar system and battery system will last for your pumps, but it's a fairly simple calculation. And generally, these pumps are very efficient. So you can get away with a smaller battery and a smaller solar system than this. These are just the ones that I had on hand. Now I'm gonna run all of this equipment from the shed. So it's out of the weather and I can put the solar panel on the roof of the shed facing north. And then this whole system will just remain off grid. Now you can run your hydroponic system off your solar system and your battery system and completely off grid. So you'll have food for the foreseeable future. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you next time on Who Chose.